In the Middle East, many are attempting to make moves and forward their interests while the world is focused on escalation in the West Bank. One such case is the United States and its attempts to move its forces in northeastern Syria. On May 13th, a unit of the Russian military police intercepted a U.S. military convoy in the region, which is controlled by the Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF. Reportedly, the U.S. military violated the existing mechanisms for conflict avoidance and moved without prior notice towards the Russian forces. There was no scuffle, but the large U.S. military unit was forced to withdraw by the small group of Russian military personnel who ensured the safety of traffic along the M4 highway. Washington's forces, however, are receiving reinforcements. The Syrian state outlet Sana reported the entry of a convoy comprising 55 vehicles in the Hasaka countryside. The trucks were loaded with hidden materials and there were refrigerated tankers and carriers accompanied by a number of armored vehicles. The convoy was heading toward the Ramallan camp where the U.S. already has heavy equipment. While the U.S. attempts to dig in and reinforce its positions and the SCF is attempting to contain ISIS on its own, Russia is making an effort to contain the movements of the moderate opposition in Greater Idlib and Latakia. Late on May 12th, Russian airstrikes targeted militants' positions near the town of Tartan in the northern Latakia countryside, as well as in the vicinity of the town of Kanada in the western countryside of Idlib. A few hours prior to the airstrikes, the Syrian Arab army hit a military vehicle near the town of Bidama in the western Idlib countryside with an anti-tank guided missile. These operations are necessary due to the frequent violations by militant groups in Greater Idlib. While the situation in Israel shows no sign of slowing down, many throughout the Middle East and even further away will try to use the chance to pursue their own goals, as it is clear to see in Syria.